that you've been watching Voices and Votes on CCTV News. It's been a year of political transition in China. And for President uh, Xi Jinping and Premier Li Keqiang, their first year in office has been one of uh, sweeping reforms and daunting challenges. A once-in-a-decade change of guard at the top. Xi Jinping and Li Keqiang took over a country full of promise, but written with problems. The biggest challenge is from within the party. And that is where they began, with a trip to the past. The central leadership paid tributes to the nation's founders at the National Museum. It is here that Xi Jinping announced his vision. One's fate is determined by his choice of path. Our choice is to revitalize the Chinese nation, that is, our China dream. The dream asks for a change of style which is simplicity. Xi Jinping and Li Keqiang launched a campaign against extravagance and waste. They reduced the red tape, limited the use of government cars, and allowed no banquets, no mooncakes, and not even a gift card on the government's bill. The move was swift and important. And this is important because uh, this is, uh, to me, supposed to uh, preparing the groundwork for what I expect to be a deepening of uh, reforms. The top leaders led by example to make change happen. They traveled the country to whip up support for their campaign, showed up at the grassroots to keep in touch with the base, and asked their ministers and governors to do so searching. Corrupt officials were brought down on an unprecedented scale. In a space of 400 days, 21 ministerial level officials have been sacked. The message from Xi Jinping and Li Keqiang is clear. When they said they would deal with corrupt tigers, they meant it. Then there is the substantive change. The top priority is to steer the country's economy away from its reliance on exports and investment. And the key is the redefinition of government. The government must be slimmer. It feels like cutting yourself. It hurts, but it's what the people want and what the country needs. In order to do that, the government needs to step back and let the market step up. But that means they will have to challenge entrenched interest groups head on. They need a game changer moment. In November 2013, the CPC held a plenum to map out the reforms for the next decade. China is in the critical juncture of reforms. So you either make it or you do not make it. The slope will be steep and tough to negotiate. SOE reforms, government slim down, cleaner air, and growing economy are all tricky challenges. To deliver change and maintain stability is a great balancing act. Yes, they put out a plan of reform, but that was the easy part. They still have to reset the target, regroup the bureaucracy, and realign the interests. And that will be the real test of the leadership. It is the second year into the administration. They still have the time, but they need to make the best of it. Zhou Yue, CCTV News.